Shalom, Yashwala. I want to start out by giving infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation, honor, and greetings to you sincere brothers pushing the truth across the four winds. Uh, I'm going to do this sit down about uh, Israel whoring out to these other nations and taking upon the philosophies of these other nations, man. When you transgress against Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, he makes you his enemy. Uh, Matthew the 12th chapter 30 and verse say you either with me or against me. Uh, you're either uh, gathering the flock or you're scattering the flock. You're doing one of the two. There's no middle ground in this truth. Uh, Yahweh Hashem Shai has laid the stipulations and the criteria and what it is is you get down or lay down. You get with it or you, you're either in or you're out. There's no hokey pokey in this truth. Playing the hokey pokey in this truth. So, uh, for the hearers of this sit down, uh, you younger brothers, Lord willing, it edifies you and lets you know, man, you got the most high only deal with, with red hot chili peppers and uh, those that are ice cold that haven't had a chance to hear his word, he'll suck with them until they get it, if they get it. But you brothers that are lukewarm and playing the hokey pokey, and not a red hot chili pepper, man. You you gonna drink the same cup as uh, the heathen round about us, man. Those are the ones he hate. He spooled lukewarm niggas out of his mouth, man. And uh, when you imitated his word, man, I'm about to go through a few precepts to show you how you get down. All right, I'm gonna start at wholesale 7 and 11. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. And Ephraim is, when you see that word Ephraim in this scripture, it's talking about Israel. It's talking about the ten tribes when they went horned abroad in ancient time past. All right. They call out to Egypt. And you can liken these scriptures to this modern day, last days that we live in. Our people whore out to Rome, to modern day Rome, modern day Egypt, modern day Babylon. When they have a problem within their, in their house, when they have financial woes, uh, emotional woes, uh, and woes period in their pop in their household, they call out to Esau or whatever Esau say you have to do for this and that. If they get sick, they don't pray and help, pray, ask the Heavenly Father to heal them or show them what herbs to take. They just go straight to e Esau unconsciously. All right, that's calling out to Egypt. And they go to Assyria and they don't realize that they're captive slaves, man. Egypt and Assyria uh, held us in cap captivity and mind fucked us took our customs and cultures away from us and gave us theirs. When they shall go, I will spread my night net upon them. The most I hate when he see you have a Gentile mindset. The most I hate when you see you living like the heathen round about you, man. He hates you and he hates everybody that rock out like that. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. I will chastise them, okay? And the ones that the most I chastise, man, he chastised the ones he loved, but the other ones, you, you two-thirds, he's going to chastise you unto death because you'll never get it. He's going to kill you in, in his chastisement, as their congregation have heard. Woe unto them. Woe means destruction, man. Woe unto you that live like the Gentiles round about us. Woe unto you, you that celebrate Christmas, eat shrimp po' boys, eat clams, crabs, crawfish. War unto you that celebrate Easter. War unto you that celebrate these heathenistic customs, man. Death and destruction to you. This is our Heavenly Father speaking, man, through the prophet, Hosea, whose, whose name also is pronounced Yahweh For they have fled from me. Destruction unto them. Destruction means death. Curse. Because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. Okay? And he's talking about his people, man, that are imitating with him, man. He's talking about his prophets, so-called prophets that misrepresent him, man. All right? He said he's going to destroy you. He's going to be a destroyer to you. Let me get another piece up. I'm going to start at Hosea 9. What I want to go to. Here we go. I'm going to start at verse 12. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them, that there shall not be a man left. 
Yeah, woe also to them, them when I depart from them. And the Most High has departed from us. Man, these last 600, 700, 800, man, the last 2,000 years, actually, man. Man, our people, for the most part, look at the state of our people, man. We don't know our, our culture. We don't know our customs. The majority of our people don't know the name of their power and our great king, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. I mean, our people are a dead bone spiritually, man. Full of maggots, carcasses. That's what we are spiritually, man. Because our Heavenly Father has departed from us. The what 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 did, what did the, the uh in the beginning when he created me in that scripture when he told Ezekiel to prophesy out of those bones that's the breath of life, the Most High about the breath of, blew the breath of life in us and that was his words man his words is what energize us cleanse us purify us heal us all right and our people don't have his word they don't have his doctrine the doctrine of life our heavenly Father when he brought us around about Mount Sinai. He told us, I said before you, Deuteronomy 13 and 15, I said before you, life and death, good and evil, man. And our people have chosen the way of the heathen, the, he the heathen, which is evil and death. This American way of life is death from the diet, the society, everything about it, the philosophy is all death. This is the land of the valley of the shadow of death. Okay. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. And that's what Israel, uh, Ephraim means, pleasant, something like that. Salakia, I want to be perfect, but I think it means pleasant place, fertile ground, something like that. All right? But Ephraim shall be brought forth his children to the murderer. And that's these captivities we've been in. And the so-called white man is a murderer. He was a murderer since the beginning, man. That spirit that the Most High put in Cain is in this so-called white man who you know as the Hebrew Edomites, who you call Anglo-Saxons and Caucasians. Okay? You skip down the verse, and we're in his hands. We're under his power. He has dominion over us. All right? Verse 16. Ephraim is smitten. And that's talking about the children of Israel, man. You can liken the whole nation according um, with this scripture. Their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit. All right, in these last days, the Most High has raised up a few good men and we, we're bearing good fruit um, in these last days, a small remnant. But for the most part, our people are dead man's bones. Though they have brought, bring forth, yet I will was, I was slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. When our kids are born and they're sent to these whorehouses you call schools, all right, the devil comes out breathing lies according to seven, Psalms 58.3. We are taught those lies. I mean, you're spiritually dead as soon as you're about here unless you come across one of the men of the Lord. Unless you come across a prophet and you take hold heed to the doctrine that the Most High has, has us pushing. My power will cast them away. Our people are cast away because they did not hearken unto him and they shall be wanderers among us, the nations. And, we are, and that has come to pass. And we are under every nation under the sun, man. And we're dead because we are transgress our Heavenly Father's word. Okay? The book of Jeremiah. And the Heavenly Father, man, he says the same thing over and over, man. He go from prophet to prophet and telling us to push the same thing. This is um, Jeremiah 3 and 11. And Yahweh said unto me, backsliding Israel, which have justified herself more than treacherous Judah, Go and pro proclaim these words to the north and say, Return thou backsliding Yasharala, say of Yahweh. Okay? And that's what the Heavenly Father got us out here doing in these last days, seconds of time. He's raised up prophets. He's put the breath of life in us. And he told us to push this truth and tell our people, the backsliding daughter of Israel, to come back to your true nationality. Come back to the commandments of the Most High, man. Come eat these good, pleasant things I have to feed you. This river's living water. This bread of life, man. Come get these diamonds and pearls I got for you. But our people reject it. And like, and like the, in the fourth chapter, Hosea say, since my people have reject knowledge, I will reject them. All right? And they're going to perish for it. 
and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful. And you can see his mercy. The Most High has given a remnant of his men um, this knowledge back, our customs back, our culture back, this doctrine. That's mercy. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. That's him being merciful. We all done things that have fallen short to get to get us put to death, man. But he's been merciful. Save your Howard, and I will not keep my anger forever. And he won't keep his anger forever. The kingdom of heaven is at end. The end of Esau and the beginning of Yaquab is at hand. All right? So he's laying sore strokes on us just to purify the men of the Lord. He got us in this fire to purify us so we can know never to go off again. You know what I'm saying? And the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He's not being angry for us forever. All right? In fact, in the scriptures, it say what we're going through is a light affliction. All right? Compared to when the kingdom of heaven come, we're not even going to remember this madness. Only acknowledge thine inequity. And that's what we're doing, man. We're coming back to the heavenly father, the, the throne of grace, boldly asking and repenting for the uh, transgressions we commit in past lifetimes and this lifetime. That's what we're out here teaching. Telling our baby people come back. We're, we're fruits ready for repentance, man. Okay? Thou hast transgressed against Yahweh thy power and scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And you've not obeyed my voice, saith Yahweh. And that's what we did in, in times old. We get under them trees, go to those high places, and, and deal with. Uh, and, and deal with other, with other idols, dealing with the idols. And that's what our people, when you go to these whore houses they call churches, all that is uh, idolatry, whoring after other powers, man. Our people do it to this day, all right? Turn, O black sliding children, save your Howard. I am married unto you, and I will take you one to a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And he's talking about his precious elect, man. Those are the men that he'll... Uh, He's taking out of every walk of life, picking them few good men, all right, that righteous fruit, all right, his precious elect. He's doing that now. See, basically, the precious elect is sealed. Lord willing, we're in that number. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Elder to heart, Elder Gabar, Elder Ricard, Elder R.E.M. Lab, and the apostles up under them, all right? And, the, and that that doctrine and those that fruit has... Uh, and drench the planet Earth, man. All right? The doctrine the most I use those men to push, they pushed it all across the planet, man. And righteous fruit is, is sprouting forth, man. Okay? And, uh, and which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. But our people rejecting this knowledge and understanding. That's why our Heavenly Father is going to put them to death. He's going to put you Edomite loving niggas to death death and it shall come to pass when you be multiplied and increased in the land those days said Yahweh they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of Yahweh neither shall it come to mind neither shall they remember it neither shall they visit neither shall that be done anymore because Yahweh is going to be in the midst of us all right so we won't need the ark of the covenant and and at that time shall they call Jerusalem the throne of Yahweh, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it. In the name of Yahweh to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. All right? And that's why those are talking about the precious elect, man. You wicked niggas, if y'all don't get it on this side, y'all going to get it on the other side, but y'all going to have to come through, come back uh, through sex. Okay? So like you for that, Yashua. All right, let me get uh, Isaiah. Give you an example of it, man. Isaiah 53. Talking about our great king, man. To whom salvation flows through. Isaiah 53 and 6. 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. All of us have fallen short of the glory of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Every one of us, man. Even the ones of us that's out here thriving for righteousness. Those us that are signing crime for the abominations going on around the bars. Us that are being obedient, keeping the commandments to the best we can in this society. We've all fallen short and done things where they're deaf. We all have skeletons in our closet, but we all take heed to the call, man. 
just hope for elect, man. We we come to the Father and lament and, and, and repent day in and day out, man. Come to the throne of grace boldly. I'm, you about to read about this throne of grace. We have turned aside everyone to his own, man. We all smoke weed, fuck other men's women. We've all stolen, disrespected our parents, you know. We've all did things that transgression Howard's word, defraud one another. We've all done things worthy to be put to death, man. Okay? And Yahweh have laid on him the inequity of us all. For all those things we did, our Heavenly Father raised up our great king, the first firstborn of all creation. Yahweh shot. And he's bearing all our our inequities. So how dare you isolate man, woman, and child to reject him. When you, according to Hebrews 10 chapter, when you reject him, you're going to be put to death according to the law of Moses. Uh, John 1 and 17 say the law of Moses, uh, the law came through Moses, but grace and salvation come through your shot. So when you reject your shot, then the law of Moses uh, is going to be carried out on your life. And when you transgress the law, the wages of sin is death okay he was oppressed and he was afflicted they talking about our great king man when he walked the planet earth uh teaching sound doctrine for the good of his people he was shunned amongst men he was he was profaned amongst men he was disrespected amongst men yet he opened out his mouth when he was let, when he was taken to the cross beat in that kangaroo court tortured flawed he didn't say a word, man. He took it like a sheep led to the slaughter, man. When they say a sheep led to the slaughter, when the sheep headed to his death, man, the sheep, the sheep don't make a sound. They just get his neck, neck cut and it dies, man. He is bought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before the shears is dumped. So he opened out his mouth, man. Let's talk about our great king, man. So he went and got tortured and went through all that. How are you going to di disrespect him and reject him? Off with your head, according to uh, Luke 19 and 27. Those that don't want me to reign over them, bring them hither and slay before me. I'm going to hit you in your, rear for, your fifth rib, but cut your fucking head off, man. Lord willing, we have the leg. He was taken from prison and from judgment. This man was taken both to a kangaroo court and was killed for nothing. It's one thing when you commit a crime and you take your lick. This man, this brother did nothing. Our great king was innocent upon all charges, all right, and was convicted with criminals, wicked men, evil men. He died the, he died the death of a thief, a robber, a lying low-life scumbag. He was put with them, put to death with them. And who shall declare his generation? This is that generation, man. This is the generation that was back there with him. They're back here again. You same slime ball niggas. You slang cutthroat, grimy niggas. All right? For he was cut off the land of the living. He was put to death. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. He's died for his people. And they are the ones that put him to death. He came to be a living sacrifice to them. And they scoffed him. They spit on him. They mocked him. And this is where we get our throne of grace from. This is how you come to the throne of grace for what he did for us on Calvary. He made his grave with the wicked. That's what I just said. And with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence. Neither with any deceit in his mouth. He's a beautiful brother. Perfect in all his ways. All right. He was a lamb without blemish, man. Never transgressed. Yet it pleased the Yahweh to bruise him. And the reason it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. That's enough for another topic, you know, because uh, Yahweh shot went off when he was Solomon, man. All right. He have put him to grief. When thou sh and then another thing in this society, when you come to the truth, the most high bruise us. He disciplined us. Some of us going to drink of the same cup our great king did. All right. He have put him to grief. When thou make his soul an offering for sin. All right. So for what he did on Calvary is the, the reason we can march in the kingdom as the saints, man. How dare anybody reject him and his word? 
He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. Okay? And, and we're in that day when all this is going to come to pass, man. These prophecies are coming to pass, man. We're in that season. No man knows the day or the hour, but guess what? The lig, the figs on the lig, the leaves on the fig tree are timber, tender, and we are in that day. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant, servant justify many. And that many is the elect, 144,000 men, taking heed to the call, being a doer of the word, for he shall bear their iniquities. All right. All right. And that's how you receive grace, man. When you receive Yahweh Shai as Mashiach, your Lord and Savior, man. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great. All right. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. He's going to give his servants uh, dominion. All dominion under heaven, heaven and earth is given to him, according to Matthew, the 28th chapter. So he. Uh, according to Romans 8 and 17, uh, those that follow him are going to be joint heirs. So he said he's going to divide the spoil with the strong, with his men, his servants. All right. That's why Elder Tar say he hate weak niggas. All right. Because this say he's going to divide his spoil with the strong, not no weak nigga. Not no nigga that could get paid off by Esau and turn on his people. Not a nigga that's scared to die for Yahweh Shemal Shah's will with the strong man. Because he had poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with many with the transgressors, and he bare the sins of many. Man, he he did the ultimate sacrifice. He died for his brothers, man. He died for his nation, man. That's the greatest thing you can do in this life is die for somebody. And many intercession for their transgressors, many intercessions for the transgressors. That's why we could go to the throne of grace boldly. And beg for grace and mercy, man. When you are enmity with the word, man, that's all you can do. Offer up prayers of repentance and forgiveness and turn away from your wicked ways so the Most High don't bring hell's flames down on you, man, and hit you with thunderbolts and lay sore strokes on you and tear your soul into pieces, man, because it's going to happen. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. The Most High watches over his word to perform it. Though it terror, they will come to pass. So with all that being said, Lord willing, this was an edifying sit down. Let it be edifying toward the hearers. And uh, I want to give infinite honest to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation, honor, and greetings to you sincere brothers pushing this truth. Quam Yashirala.